Hi, my name is Benita, and what I want to do today is I want to show you how to make a wrist corsage. If you look here, this is the wrist corsage. Our church is having an anniversary, and usually I make boutonnieres for the church, but I'm making a wrist corsage, and I'm just going to show you how I make this easy wrist corsage. So if you'd like to make one for your church anniversary or any occasion, a prom, you're uh, welcome to use this. Okay? First, what I did was I bought some decorative ribbon from um, the 99 cent store. This whole roll was 99 cents. You can find some with the rows here like I have, or there's a leaf pattern here too. And what I did was I cut it about eight and a half inches, and that's about the length that will fit around just about any woman's wrist. My wrist is pretty big, so what I did was I let it fit. If it fit me, then I know it will fit someone else. Because I made the Velcro, the square is pretty big. So if it's uh, if the wrist is bigger, all you got to do is put it closer to the edge. Or if it's smaller, take it all the way to the other edge of the Velcro. So it'll go smaller or it'll be bigger. See? Or it'll go smaller. Okay? Now, first thing I did was I bought some roses. These are, it's just fake flowers, so they will last. And what I did was I bought them from a store in the Carousel Mall. And this was the cheapest that I found, purple flowers. So it was really hard to find purple flowers. But these flowers are really full. I got these at the 99 cent store, and this was the purplest I, that I could find. But as you see, see how it's all open right there? And you see how this one is full? I was looking for one that's full. These were pretty cheap compared to buying these for 99 cents so I'm not using these I'm just going to use these and what I did was I cut off just take your scissors and cut off one of the petals and I cut one of the little ones off too I always try to have a box that I have my trash in I have some what is this needle nose pliers well these aren't needle nose pliers these are some just a uh, wire cutters and I take them and I just squeeze the bottom off pull it through and just throw it away and inside there's a little skirt I call it and I take that out too same thing and do it for the big one and then take the petals off and you can add as many petals that you want I just did uh, the big flower and the little flower and then what we do after this is we take take one of your wrist bands that you prepared which I need to show you how to prepare all you have to do all I did was just fold it I folded it over just like this and just take the velcro take it off and then just lay it over the pointy parts so that it won't stab anyone. And then just take another side of your Velcro and you want to fold it and put it on the opposite side. It's not going to be, they're not going to be facing each other. They'll be on the opposite sides so that when you fold it over, they'll meet like this in the middle. Okay? All right. Next, after you have that prepared, I have plan to do something else. What you do is you take your glue and you put it here and just lay down one of your petals. I usually lay it down with the glue gun because it is hot and you need to be careful. Just stick the glue and then put the petal down. Can you see this? I just rub it down and then I add some more glue for the next petal. Don't worry about the glue that's flying around. That'll be, we can clean it up later. Just rub it and then put the next one down. Be careful because of the heat. And you can take your time doing this. I'm just doing this fast to show you. And then just keep adding petals. There you go. And add your last one. Now, you can put whatever decoration you want in the middle. Sometimes I'll put um, a, a jewel or something. I found these at the uh, 99 cent store. They were earrings. 
and I just took off one of the uh, parts of the earring and I just laid it in here if you want a little diamond in there on this one I just added these white flowers that I have here you can add a white flower or you can add something sparkly or whatever color or anything that you want to do it's yours to do the thing I forgot to do is I forgot to add my leaf I chose the green leaf to go under here because it accented the color a, a lot now since I just kinda did this I'm gonna take it up just raise it up real quick and put the leaf down and add the flower back down and if it feels like it's not gonna stick just add some more glue but we did it kinda fast so it was still not really set and if you can add some more glue like I just did if you want okay now this is ribbon two that I found at the craft store to find purple and what I did was I just cut about sorry I didn't get to measure this before 10 inches and what I did was I just folded it with my hands to make a bow see just like that just make it like this like you're making the just cross it there and then just bring that bow to the back and I have a stapler, 99 cent store stapler, and just stick it in there, and then staple it, and then what you do is you take it and you put a little glue on the side of your flower, and just stick it there. You can stick it uh, outside or inside. This one, I'm going to go ahead and try the other way, like this. See? And then this one, and then just kind of lay your flower down on it. A little bit okay again just fold it and then bring that back the reason I'm stapling this because I tried the hot glue and mostly all I get is burnt fingers so I staple it so to hold it for me because this part is going to be hidden if you have time you can use the hot glue to hold it it's up to you okay so there we go we have the flower and if you want you can add any accents you want like I said I chose to use the white flowers you can use the white flowers you just glue them on and then after it's after it's drying you're done I usually take um, my tweezers and any extra glue that's sticking around I just take it and throw it away I start looking for it and find it and then that's it and then this there you go you have your corsage and then just uh, you can put it on and wear it okay isn't that pretty and you can add any decorations that you want to it to make it look even prettier I just went ahead and finished that one because we already have this one done too pretty of you and you can just do it any kind of way and then they're ready to go and you can spray something nice on them and wear them Thank you for listening and thank you for watching. I hope you can make one too and I hope you have fun. Goodbye.